All right, y'all, guess what today is? Ooh. <laughs> yep, today is Azure Standard Pickup Day, and I'm so excited because I love doing these hauls for you, and I'm gonna be showing you all that I got. Welcome back to Grains and Grit. My name is Felicia. And today, as I stated, it was my Azure pickup day for January 2022. And I'm gonna be showing you everything that I got. But before we do that, I wanted to let you guys know that I have done these videos before. My very first one, I actually told you how Azure Standard works. The second one, I gave you some tips and tricks to help you order and to understand some things of how Azure Standard works better. So if you haven't watched those videos yet, be sure to check out the description box below um, to check those out and to see what I've gotten in previous orders as well. Also, my link for Azure Standard will be in the description box below. So be sure to check that out as well when you're interested in signing up for Azure. And for everyone who has used my link, Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. Because of you, um, I do get credit for everyone who uses my link and you spend a certain amount and a certain amount of time. And I do get a $25 credit for each one. And you can do that too, it's not just me. So they have the Share Azure program. I talk about that, I believe in the first video, um, where you can also get credit for referring people to. So again, link for everything down below. And without further ado, let's see all the goodies. All right, y'all, so here is my order. Pretty decent sized order this time. And obviously we have grains, shocker. And if you're not sure what grains do what, why I order so many different kinds, I will be linking that down below. I do have a video about all the diff um, many different types of grains, what they do, what I use them for, my favorite combinations, stuff like that. So let's check them out further. All right, so first of all, we have here my organic um, rolled oats or quick, sorry, quick, oats, um, which I use these for oatmeal all the time, and also some amazing oatmeal cookies that I'll have to share with you guys later on. And next we have is our soft white wheat berries. Um, you know that if you've been following me, following me long enough, these are for baked goods. I sometimes use them in breads, but they're low in, lower gluten content, not the best for tall yeast breads, but they are great for your baked goods. And then we have something that has been sold out in the past two times I've ordered, and that is some more spelts. This is an ancient grain. Love using this as well. And then I finally got a hold of some hard white wheat. Um, if you saw my last Azure order, I did order this, but it did not come. It was out of stock and it was in stock this time. So I was able to get a 50 pound bag of that. So we got a 50 pound bag of the hard white wheat berries, 25 pound bag of the spelt, um, 50 pounds of the soft white wheat, and then 25 pounds of the quick oats. And if you saw my last video about how to store these grains, I mentioned that 50 pounds of oats is way more than 50 pounds of wheat berries and as you can see side by side they look like they're the same size i mean they are the same size bag but yet i get 25 pounds of the oats because oats are so much lighter the quick oats are so much lighter than your wheat berries so this is something to compare for those who saw my last video next we have one of the hardest things to get from azure and that is their apples i have literally had their apples in my cart for the past, I think two or three orders, ever since they start coming out with their apples, which is usually in the fall, they have such an amazing deal, literally the best deal for organic apples. They have many different kind. Um, I was able to snag the, um, the Fuji apples. Um, there were more than these. My, um, my children have already eaten some, <laughs> uh, but this is 20 pounds of organic apples that Azure grows and I believe it was only about 30 bucks. <laughs> so, which is an amazing, amazing deal. So when you can snag you up some apples from Azure because they're literally the best deal when it comes to organic apples. And since apples are on the dirty dozen list for pesticides, I always try to get organic and these are the best, this is the best deal you're gonna find. All right, and next up we have this box right here, which these are my little glass jars. I needed some more. Um, these are the half gallon squat, sorry, these are the half gallon little jars. So you can see they're kind of more squat as opposed to my very tall 
um, half gallon that I keep like my beans and other grains in. I already have lids for these. So Azure does sell their glass jars and lids separately. So I already had lids to go with this wide mouth um, kind of squat jar. And so I went ahead and got some more jars because obviously I need some more jars to store some things because I, I may have a problem. I mean, I don't really. I mean, do I? No, I don't have a problem. With these, I did get six of these little glass jars. These are not for canning. These are just for storing, but they're wonderful glass jars that I really, really like. And then last but not least, we have this box here with many other items. So let's turn this around and open this box up to see what's in this box. Okay, so first off, what we have is I got some buckwheat groats. Um, these are a gluten-free grain. Um, you can mill these into a flour. I've heard great things about buckwheat pancakes, um, things like that. I've never tried this before, so I wanted to have it to try it out. Um, but again, these are buckwheat, a gluten-free grain, and I got five pounds of that. I also got me some tricolor quinoa, organic quinoa. Um, I've actually come to like quinoa. That is another gluten-free grain. So these are still whole grain. There are whole grains out there that are naturally kind of gluten-free. Um, for those of you who just, no matter what I say, avoid gluten like the plague, or you actually are have celiac disease or truly have a gluten um, tolerance problem that you have. So this is another one. Um, my family is actually not a huge fan of quinoa. Um, I think it's more like the texture for them, but I've actually come to like it and I got white quinoa last time to try it out. I now got a tri-color quinoa just to kind of jazz things up a little bit, but these are five pounds of this. I also got me some oat groats, um, organic oat groats. So for those who do not know um, how the oat family works, they are grown um, and you harvest your oat groats, which as you can see, kind of look like wheat berries. And then from there, they either cut the oat groats, and that's where you get steel cut oats, or you take the oat groats and you roll them, and that's where you get rolled oats. And then they take the rolled oats and cut those up even more, and that's where you get your quick rolled oats, like um, I've shown you that I already got as well. So that's kind of a thing with, so now you know, where the, all the different oats come from, what they do with it. But I grabbed me some organic oat groats because you can actually take this and mill it into flour, which is another popular um, grain to use, if I remember right, in like the gluten-free baking. Um, and just using oat flour for other things as well. So I wanted to go ahead and grab some up, just five pounds of the organic oat groats. Um, so I can experiment with that. Okay, and this one I'm most excited about, a brand new grain I have never in my life tried. Um, it is a brown teff grain. This is another glu naturally gluten-free grain, and this is most popular in Africa. I think specifically Ethiopian cooking. This is a big, big grain that they are always using. I actually had a comment from someone on my channel saying that they were most excited about Azure because you could get Teff grain here. This is not easy to find. Um, so I went ahead and got um, a non-GMO um, brown Teff grain, five pounds of that. And now I get to figure out what to do with it. So if you are familiar with this grain, definitely comment below with any recipes that you may have so I can try it out. All right, another item in the box is I got finally some Celtic sea salt. So I have been wanting to improve, get a better quality salt that I use in my breads because salt is good to have, um, but it also depends on the quality that you get that will help you get more um, nutrients and everything. So I wanted to try this out before I committed to a bigger bag. Um, this is just a little one pound bag of the Celtic sea salt. Um, as you can see, it's kind of smaller it's not it's not too big of a grain this is not something i would want to sprinkle onto food but it will dissolve easily into my breads um, i know that sue becker uses a lot of the celtic sea salt so i'm excited to finally try this for myself and now on to the non-food items that i grabbed so in case you didn't know azure standard also has many different types of minerals vitamins all that stuff so i went ahead and grabbed me some mega mag which is a magnesium supplement i have really been wanting to get a magnesium supplement because um, I've had a lot of babies y'all and I think they've just zapped a whole lot of nutrients from me. Um, I have been doing much better I, um, for a while, like especially when I'm pregnant and even after my last child, um, I still get muscle cramps during the night, which is something I usually used to only get while pregnant. 
and now I experience it sometimes not pregnant. Um, it has been getting better since I've really increased, increased my intake of um, bread from my freshly milled wheat whole grains. And I will talk about that later on. If you're part of my newsletter, I have talked about um, me doing this type of diet where I've just really increased my bread intake, but more about that later. Um, but I wanna still do an extra magnesium supplement. I'm also gonna give it to my husband, helping him sleep better. Um, you know, just it's just good to have. Um, most Americans are extremely deficient, deficient in magnesium because you get it from good soil. A lot of our soil is now deficient. Long story short, look it up. But this is just a liquid magnesium supplement. I also ordered an iron supplement as well, but that was the only item that did not ship in my order. Um, I still have some iron um, that I take. Again, I, I am borderline anemic when I'm pregnant and I'm wanting to really take the time to like build that up. I'm not pregnant, but to build that up after having all of my babies, because again, babies take everything from you. Um, and just to build that up. So I'm still on an iron supplement, but I wanted to liquid iron as well. So hopefully I can grab that in the next order, but this is a good, it had really good reviews, the Trace Minerals brand. So there you go. I also finally got me some of this Country Save laundry detergent. Um, this is, I think, um, okay, it's 100 ounces. So it says 160 HE loads, but I've heard amazing things about the Country Save brand, especially when it comes to hard water, which I have ridiculously. Like, I'm in a rental right now, and their chemistry set they have on their well is insane. And I don't even think I don't even think it's working properly. So I keep bouncing around with laundry detergents. Um, so I'm going to be trying this one out again. I've heard great things about the Country Save, um, and yeah, um, Azure has um, laundry detergent. They actually have their entire. They actually Azure Standard alone has their has their own brand of cleaning supplies. Um, I've tried many of them, they're really great, but I went ahead and started with the Country Save, which is not Azure's brand laundry detergent, to try this out with all my stinky smelly kids. And then I already opened this one because I thought it was recording and it wasn't, but I grabbed an e-cloth dusting glove. Um, I have e-cloths and they're wonderful. They're, if you're not familiar with them, all you need is water um, to clean with them. They're like Norwex, but as you can see, this is the dusting glove. I now look like a Muppet, <laughs> Muppet hand, but I hate dusting things like the little knickknacks, the lamp shades, the lamps. So this I can just hopefully theoretically rub my hands over and make dusting a whole lot easier. So I'm really excited about it. I don't need any extra sprays or anything. Um, just follow the directions for washing it and we'll see. How this goes because I use regular dusters and I'm, I'm not a huge fan of them so we're gonna we're gonna try this one out and then of course last but not least they do send their sales flyer out so it just kind of gives you a heads up of what's gonna be on sale coming up in the next month which will be February 2022 and I have to say one good thing about the flyers is when I'm done with them because they are not glossy they feel like they're made out of they're I think they do use a recyclable paper but in here um, but they're easily burnable. So we actually save these and we'll use them in our fireplace to um, when we start fires and stuff like that because um, you can easily burn it in place of newspaper. All right, y'all, so that is it. I hope this kind of gave you some ideas, showed you some things that you may not have known that Azure Standard had. I know I love these videos because I get ideas for what they have. I mean, it's a huge store and I've yet to actually see everything that they have and I've been buying from them for about seven years now, I think. Um, so I hope this is very helpful. If you have any questions whatsoever about Azure Standard, be sure to comment below. And if you have any recipes with these new grains that I got as well, I'd love to hear them as well. So as always, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. Bye.